the ugly truth why someone doesn't follow you back on Instagram. Today I'm gonna reveal it all, tell you why someone's not following you back, and four ways you can fix your engagement and loyalty. All you gotta do is keep on watching. <laughs> all right guys, good morning, actually no. It's currently 4.37 a.m. Not good morning. This is torture. Together, I'm gonna take you on to my trip to Houston for a conference about digital marketing. But I know why you're here, which is probably for the title of this video. And it's all about the ugly truth about the follower who doesn't hit the follow button. If you wanna know more, all you gotta do is keep on watching. Hey. <laughs> all right, guys, first agenda of the day. Our flight leaves at 6 a.m. I'm with my dad. Okay. My dad <laughs> hasn't been on the vlogs in a while. By the way, it's not Houston, it's Austin. So we're at the lounge. I'm extremely tired because yesterday, if you guys saw, no, you actually didn't see. <laughs> I had a Facebook live training and it was great. It's just like every time you film a webinar, if you guys ever go on live, it's just so draining. So I ended up just being so tired. Let's talk about Texas. Have you guys been to Texas? I used to live there for a year. I was like nine or seven or something, right? Dad, help me out here. Eight. When I was eight years old, I lived in Texas. I haven't been there in a solid like 10 years. I'm 17 right now. So we're gonna actually gonna get our like live react. I just don't remember much of it. All I remember is lots of steak and ribs. So I'm really excited. Woo! <laughs> Ow, this is not soft. Hey guys, so we just landed in Austin, Texas. I'm currently I'm currently in my hotel room right now. We're actually about to dive into the video, which I know you've been waiting for, which is all about the reason why someone unfollowed you. Okay, here's, here's a story. I used to go to high school. I actually dropped out of high school. And I would remember, I would follow these, okay, no tea, no shade, but here's a story that will really help you understand what I'm about to say. So grab a snack, it's about to be a little chit -chat. Last year, I used to be that person just like you who would follow maybe the cool people at school. Do you ever like, okay, are you ever on your phone and you like, have this profile you know them like they don't know you like you're irrelevant to them but you know them like they're like cool kid in school anyways i was actually re i remembered like sit on my phone for some reason worried whether i should follow her or not because i knew deep down she would never follow me back i don't know if you guys are like that like what's the point i don't see the value in myself so today i'm going to teach you guys how to really feel that confidence so when you want to follow michaela okay she will follow you back because you bring value your content's great so that's what we're going to go in today you know how to make relevant content i'm going to actually we actually have four tips in order to be relevant in their content and we're gonna dive right in. If you're new here, my name is Jade. I'm a 17 year old entrepreneur. And sometimes, like where I am right now, I travel. But here's the thing, okay? Like the analogy, I get really nervous. And for some reason, I don't know if you guys have been there, but I get like really bad anxiety. And then it just like makes my body stop functioning. Hear me out, okay? If you guys saw last time I was in Barcelona for my Europe tour, I literally just, I went to the hospital because I, I couldn't go to the bathroom. Like. I'm sorry, I had to say it, but like, I just couldn't. And it was so bad. And my friend Rafi, who traveled with me, probably was tired of me dying. Um, but now I'm traveling and it's a little bit better. I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little bit better. I don't know what's happening, but I'm getting a little nuts nervous from like going on planes. The reason why I tell you this though is because I actually share a lot of this with you guys. And some of you have cared. Some of you have actually gone out of your way and like DM me and said, hey Jade, I hope you feel better. So thank you so much. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone who has supported me. Like I just wanna shout out you guys for being the realest YouTube family on earth. I really love you guys. If you're so far enjoying this video and you haven't already, or maybe you binge watch my videos, make sure you give this video a like and uh, subscribe, but turn on post notifications because a lot of you guys do miss out on my giveaways, my opportunities. So I just wanna make sure you, you're in the loop. All right guys, back into this. Um, if you're an influencer and you have a personal brand, a lot of the times your goal is to make content because you care about the user, but you also want them to care about you back. Here is the thing. A lot of you guys are coming from a place of forced, not power. Whoa, Jane, what does that mean? Here's a force power chart diagram. I actually spent a lot of time studying human psychology. Um, sales and marketing is all about decision making and brain cognitive behavior. Anyways, well, the one thing you guys have to realize is when you post content, are you coming from a pace of desire? Do you want people to like your photos? Are you trying to get attention because you feel empty? So the study is actually by Kirlin Photography Core Aura colors um this diagram is basically the map of how your body the energy level is at depending on how conscious you are so <laughs> the lowest level at the very bottom is called shame then it goes to guilty i think it goes up to apathy grief 
fear, desire, anger, pride. These are a lot of emotions you might feel when you're coming out of a place of force. So this means like when you're posting something, it's not for the intention of maybe giving value to someone. It's because you feel empty inside and you want that validation from others. When you're in that place where you're posting just to get validation, you're never gonna be as satisfied because you're validating your identity based on someone's opinion. So this is why a lot of accounts don't grow. And I know it doesn't really tie into Instagram, but it, it ties into anyone building a brand. Because if you're trying to give value to an audience, but you're just only doing it for their liking you, you just want fame, money, and success, which is totally fine, but that's your only reason, that's why you don't grow. Because the moment you don't have that, you give up. A lot of you guys feel like, hey, Jade, how do you become so persistent? And my honest answer is I try to post or give value at a level of power, which I'm about to break down. Power is courage, neutral, willingness, acceptance, reason, love, peace, enlightenment. Um, the highest level is enlightenment, which I actually have no, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna fuck with you guys. I don't know what that means. <laughs> this might sound really weird, but I did ask actually my YouTuber friends with like hundreds to millions of subscribers, you know, what level do you vibrate on? That sounds so weird. A lot of them vibrate at a level of 250 to 400. So that means they are already accepting themselves. They're willing to put themselves out there because they love themselves first. I The reason why I share this, and I know it's a little wishy-washy, is this visual diagram really helps you understand, hey, maybe I'm not going because I don't accept myself. How can I make content that makes other people happy when I'm not happy myself? Because here's the ugly truth. If you're posting pictures on a timeline for people just to look at and you're not giving any emotional connection and you're not really putting yourself out there and you're filtering yourself way too much because you're afraid of what people think, you're not gonna be anything more than just something nice to look at. A lot of you guys don't know why you're not getting engagement. It's probably because your nice selfie is cute, but how? what does it make me feel to make me comment? A lot of the times you guys saw my other videos talking about how to make viral content is all about playing on emotion. So we're gonna dive into a couple more ways you can do that. Um, the first one is trying to show people your life story. It is so hard. Trust me, I hate talking about my poop problems to you guys but I know a lot of you guys might like it it's 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 it might help you guys actually I see in the comments where you guys actually admit that you have this problem too but you don't know what to do because it's kind of embarrassing so sharing your life story and struggle to your audience is one of the best ways to build that audience so a lot of you guys are trying to be more vulnerable maybe show your before and afters if you're a fitness influencer you're showing your like days when you didn't feel confident uh, which is great and you really want to do this and encapsulate it in any content because what I want you to do is whenever you look at your phone if you can't tell someone's life story in the first 10 minutes of stalking your feed, um, you're not putting yourself out there enough. If you're not writing a paragraph about this is what happened to me, if you're not doing Instagram lives about doing this, if you're not making a YouTube video or a vlog showing your life and not being pretentious as fuck, it's probably a reason why you're not being a true personality online. The second thing is actually showing people your goals. Um, I really like doing this because I'm in a marketing sense and I kind of want to show you what I'm working on. So a lot of you guys see on my stories, I just share couple projects I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna put this another analogy. If you see Kylie Jenner, okay, the reason why she shares maybe her cosmetic line, her like talking about what she's doing, her Forbes articles, and all of her amazing, amazing accomplishments is because she wants to show people that progress. And then now her followers are in love with her because they're, she's growing and you always wanna be with a leader. So like Kylie Jenner's killing it anyways. I'm not Kylie Jenner. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is share your followers, your goals and aspirations. So this is kind of weird. I think number three, Weird enough is showing people your opponent. Showing people that you have competition is really weird, I know, but think about it like this. If you knew Kylie Jenner was in beef with Cardi B, I know you would be on that Twitter feed refreshing, seeing what the situation's about. I think having beef and the reason why YouTube fights are stupid but they're exciting is because there's some storyline, there's tension, and you want to know what's going to happen next. Not saying you need to start some Twitter drama with someone random, but kind of expressing to your audience the um, the us versus them mentality, like kind of expressing to your audience, like this is us and I'm against this. It's kind of showing what you stand for. For example, if you want to stand for a certain female rights movement, do it. And if you might piss some people off, do it. Do you know what I'm saying though? Like you want to show something, even if it might piss someone off, that gets people super excited for what you believe in because it shows that you're courageous and you don't give a shit what people think. And some followers really like that attitude because then it gets them also something to stand for too. Okay, so the fourth thing I want you guys to try is implementing setting and weather. This only works if you do like lots of content maybe on YouTube. A lot of you guys do want to know more YouTube content, so I think it's really good if you can show your personality through your location. For example, I'm wearing this shiny blouse because I sometimes feel like an oyster and I'm shiny on the inside but like weird as fuck on the outside. Was that a good analogy? Are oysters even shiny? 
Another way to look at this is the following. I want you guys to follow this statement. Insert your name, invented your thing. For example, Kylie Jenner invented big lips. Did Kylie Jenner actually invent big lips? Heck no! But she kind of invented it in a way it was unique to her brand. Try to fill out the sentence to your name. For example, Jade invented shitting problems. What I'm trying to say is, if you can add that statement in, you're gonna be a lot more different than your competitors. You're gonna make sure you stand out. A lot of you guys don't know why you look like the same 40 other bloggers on your fucking Instagram is because you're literally copying each other. Try to find something new and innovate yourself. And it can be small little objects or things. Like I have a friend, Haley, shout out to Haley. Her fan base is called the Girly Pops. So Haley fam invented Girly Pops. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. Like I think making yourself unique is all about inventing something when really you don't, but it's just kind of putting yourself in a situation where a certain object or setting or a personality makes you different. Um, again, I want to recap everything for a review. All these things, whether it's like adding your life story, your goals, your opponents, and then adding your invention, it will not work if you don't have the right awareness. So I'm gonna link below a couple of videos if you wanna know how to grow. This is more how to get engagement after you grow. Um, a lot of you guys are at a state where you do have loyal followers, but you don't know what to do with them yet. So this is kind of more of that video. But if you do wanna see more videos about awareness and how to get uh, outreach, I will link it below. Oh, by the way guys, since you're right here, just like the relationship analogy I told you, you might just click off and use this information once and never come back again, whatever. But I really want you to succeed. So my biggest thing on this channel is to help you grow your brand on social. Get the awareness you're looking for and loyalty and build a fan base of your dreams. So I went out of my way and decided to build out a drum roll, please. I have a huge announcement. Starting October 1st, I'm doing a 12 week training. I just spat everywhere. Starting October 1st, I'm launching a 12 week training on how to grow your brand. It's 12 weeks. Check out this preview. Hey guys, welcome to Personal Brand Journey. This is the first time I'm announcing it. All you gotta do is sign up in the link below. It's on my Facebook Messenger group only for my brand, Personal Brand Journey, which is a company that helps you grow on social. We do have an app launching, but I did wanna get this training out because if you were curious, since I'm developing this app, it took a lot of time and money and resources and we can't get it out in time yet. So in the meantime, we have this 12 week training course to kinda get you guys in the loop and understand what we're trying to put out. Did I mention it's fucking free? Hell yeah, guys. So that was today's video. If you enjoyed it, comment below. Oh, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. I want to say thank you so much for supporting me. Um, you know, throughout this entire thing, when I, I'm not just lying. Like, I, it was very painful to film a video where I was having stomach problems, and you guys seem to enjoy that that struggle. Uh, not like in a bad way. That sounds so evil, but you guys seem to enjoy that I put myself out there. And I wanted to thank you for appreciating my content because I appreciate you so much. And I just freaking love you. I.